I think I messed up. <laughs> I think I messed up. Messed up, I think. It's why is it so sticky? to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so today we are in the kitchen baby baby you guys know oh do you know i don't know if you know well if you, you don't, don't know, know now you know, know. I love food and currently I'm in America as you all know I could not go home because Miss Coco V decided to make life difficult for everybody and honestly I was feeling so so homesick so I decided to do something that would take me back home a bit what did I decide to do I decided that today I am going to make a maguinha also called fed cook <laughs> So I went out, I got all the ingredients and I've laid everything out here for you guys to see. Real talk though, I haven't made them too many times and I haven't made them in a while so I really don't remember. And I'm praying, I'm praying I don't mess up because my mom is a whole chef guys, she's gonna clown me. She is so gonna clown me if I mess up. So I'm hoping I make South Africa proud. I just wanted to show you guys some of the ingredients that I will be using because of course in America you won't find all the same brands that you get in South Africa. And honestly, let me tell you the truth guys if this thing doesn't work out I am going to blame it on American air I'm going to blame it on American ingredients I am NOT going to take the fall in terms of the ingredients we have rapid rise yeast and then we have Pompeian Pompeian pumping pump Bruh. I don't know guys yo you know this English thing it's not even English hey guys Anyway, we've got some Pompeian extra virgin olive oil right here. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Let me tell you guys right now. Do not use olive oil. You guys probably already know this. I'm sure when I said olive oil, you were like, Burr. Anyway, do not use olive oil. Use regular oil because olive oil is too heavy. Luckily for myself, I had other oil in the house that I was able to use. Um, but yeah, you do not, you do not, hear me. You do not want to use olive oil for this recipe, okay? Thank you. Management. And then we have Pillsbury all-purpose flour and we have great value granulated sugar and lastly we have morton salt so that the salt doesn't come like in essay with the little running man thing in the little tub it comes like this right here although there is a it's not a running man it's just a girl with a an umbrella what shall we call this segment i don't know i don't know i don't know hmm what about cooking with benny is that too basic what do you guys think Comment down below what you think this cooking segment should be called. By the way, I don't know if it's going to be an actual segment, but if you do want to see me cook more stuff, basically do the damn thing or mess up, comment down below. Also, smash the like button and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. I should add that I have doubled the ingredients so I can make double of what I would originally make. So in the case where they say four cups, I've used eight, etc, etc. The first step is we need to pour all of our dry ingredients into the bowl. Okay, Whew, that's quite a bit there. Is it just me guys or does yeast look a little bit weird? I don't know if it's just me, but honestly, I just feel like yeast looks really weird. Now you mix all the dry ingredients together before adding any of the liquid. Now that we have all our dry ingredients mixed in, it is time for the liquids. So here we have four cups of water. I won't even lie guys, it is so hard because I'm literally filming with my phone and my camera, which means that I am filming from straight ahead right in front of me. And I'm also trying to hold my own phone so that I can get these top angles and it is really difficult. So we have our liquids mixed into there and now we just need to stir it all together. Guys, this video is going up whether I succeed at doing this thing or not. So, <laughs> I really hope everything works out. The next part is now we need to put our mixture on a doughed up surface. Not doughed, listen to me. On a floured surface. So, I'm just going to use this here. Sprinkle a little bit of flour overhead and then I'm going to put the mixture on here Also, by the way, like I'm a student on a budget. I don't own an apron. Thank you very much. So 
my mixture started spilling over like into the side so i had to place my other like color greater matte thing so now we're supposed to like mix it i'm pretty sure i did something wrong guys this don't seem right it just it don't it just oh this is so sticky <gasps> it here um if this does not work out this is not a representation of who i am in everyday life okay everybody has a few bad days and this is just this is just another bad day okay well it's not a bad day i can't say that let me just wait and see 20 minutes later ah guys this is so sticky <gasps> i think i messed up <laughs> i think i messed up messed up i think it's why is it so sticky i mean i could add more flour i guess but i don't know if it should be this sticky oh look at my hands oh guys Whew. comment down below if you think this is gonna work out don't be negative please thank you very much why are you doing that because they say you're supposed to need it isn't it need it like these like I don't are you serious <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to do like... Can you play this video for me? I don't have hands. See, hers is not as sticky as mine. Just put more flour. And like, don't do this. Do like that. Like, put it inside. Inside. Okay. Okay. That is looking much, much better. Right? Okay guys, so I had to take a break because my workspace was getting too messy and it really overwhelms me. And also, I remember that you're supposed to put flour on your hands because that helps you. So now I've added more flour to the dough and so it's not as sticky as before, which is how I prefer it. I hate sticky hands. Oh, I hate feeling sticky. Comment down below if you feel the same. Honestly though, I don't think I could be a chef as my profession. First of all, because I suck, but mainly because I suck. I mean, I don't, like, I know how to cook, but like, I don't know, man, I'm just... <laughs> but anyway, my food is still popping, so Chef Benny with the pots, boy. So now we have it inside of this bowl and we're gonna wrap it with cling wrap, leave it in a place in the sun for about 45 minutes to an hour. And in that time, I'm going to clean up my workspace and think about my life. I personally feel like an important part of making food or anything is words of affirmation. We need it as humans. Plants apparently appreciate it. So I feel like food will probably appreciate it. So now the most important part of your baking process is words of affirmation. Here we go. You are kind. You are smart. You are important. You is kind, you is smart, you is important. You're not going to disgrace mommy by not coming out properly because you're not a disgrace. I don't own any disgraces, nor do I raise any. Even if he's the one that raised you, I'm still your mother. Bruh. Okay guys, so it's done raising. It's pretty thick if you guys can see. There we go. And it's really dark now because the sun went away. But now it's time to put it into the little bowls and I have got oil in the pan that is just heating up while I do this. And again, it's really sticky and I'm just, I'm not a fan of sticky stuff. Oh, by the way, you should rub oil on top of the surface and on your hands just to help you with the stick. Now I know I, I watched a video where the lady did this thing, right? And then she squeezed her hand like this. Eh. There we go. And that's the bowl she used. Okay, I guess it works. All right, so now we're gonna do that over and over. This is a lot. So I think we're gonna actually have a lot to eat. And again, this is such a, like if this turns out as a flop, that's gonna be horrible because there's way too many for these things to flop. Like this is too much for it to turn out as a flop. You know how I was saying you guys should comment down below if you want to see me cook some more? Please don't. I, I don't think we need to do this again. I think this one time experience was good for the good times, for the vibes, for the babies, but I don't think we need to repeat it again. But now I'm kind of hopeful. So I have it ready now for frying. And yo, can I please tell you guys, my heart is hurting for all the oil that I have used. But I have it ready for frying. And it's actually a significant amount. I had some that were too big and I had to make them smaller. But now we're good. So this is it. 
this is it if it doesn't work out yeah this for youtube it has to be like this thank you okay guys so it is the moment of truth and i'm gonna put them in now and ooh, guys i'm so nervous <laughs> years later so 20 hours later and we are done this is the final product it actually really looks great but can I please tell you guys I cannot feel my fingers I burnt my fingers if you could see them right now you just can't see them they are red because yo I had this big accident I don't even know what happened guys I don't even know what happened right so basically I was trying to get the fed cook slash maguinha out of the pan next thing I know the thing I'm holding like basically jumps up okay it wasn't even me it wasn't even me it jumped up by itself it did it by itself okay i was doing what i was supposed to do and then the thing jumped up without my permission next thing i know my fingers are burnt it just missed my face it just missed my face and my hand got burnt so yeah there were some casualties also my bowl i don't know if you can see my pole has a hole in it now because of the oil so many many hours later it was quite a mission but uh, here we are the complete product it looks great and now I'm going to get some people to come and test it so we've got two people from Tanzania and one South African I'm gonna get them to taste and get their opinions personally I've tasted it as well and I think it's good there's not too much sugar I would have preferred more sugar I know that for people who don't like sugar this is perfect but I definitely would have preferred more sugar this one I picked this one because this one is really pretty okay so guy whoa relax it's Thank okay. You. Guys, this is Tulani from South Africa. Say hi. Hi guys. This is Jackson from Tanzania. Hello. And this is Lucy from Tanzania as well. Okay. So, I need you guys to give a rating out of 10. Okay? Okay. Four. One being the best, or nine being the best. 10 being the best, one being okay. Okay. Five being, it's okay. Okay. Hi. Thank everybody. Everybody at the same time. You have to be in the camera, by the way, so make sure we oh. can see you. Okay. <sighs> well, one, two. wait. I take no responsibility for any kind of food poisoning. I'm not forcing anyone to eat. If you have diarrhea, it's your business. Let me just put that out there. Okay. Bottoms up. <laughs> Hear the crunch. I should record this for ASMR. It's good. Mm. I'll um, give you a nine. Go, a nine? go outside okay. and buy your friend as we finish everything. Nine out of ten from Tulani Jackson. Nine point five. Nine point five. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> well, I'm still processing this. Uh. Oh, take your time. Don't be. I'm also testing the, the ground beef. The ground beef. That's, I'll yeah. give her. Um, it's chopping. Yeah, probably. Like um eight. An eight? <laughs> yeah. You are bringing down the group average, miss. No, like, I'm just gonna be honest. Well, she did a very good job, but she needed a little bit of sugar. I know, I feel like it needs more sugar. A little bit more sugar. I agree. like. Yeah, but in general, it tastes nice. I like it. Two seconds later. You did a good job. With the ground beef. I didn't make a mistake for 9.5. <laughs> and yeah? It goes well with the ground beef. It's very good. You don't need to. It's very, very good. Yeah, overall, I would say, man, good job, sis. You really did the damn thing here. And now it's time to chow and um, work on my fingers. If you want to see me cook some more, let me know real, 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 real quick. 
um, because I literally have a week left in this place. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.